Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mona. I'm excited to be back here again. Today I'm going to be doing this super cut eye dramatic extra Bratz dolls vibes look. That's it. Stay tuned and see how I created this look. I am going to take you through how I created this dramatic cut eye look. I wanted to do something more extra, more dramatic, and here it is. So let's get started. I'm going to obviously start with a crease. I'm going to get a fluffy eyeshadow brush, and I'm getting that from the Mona Tools collection. And I'm going to be using the Morphe 9M palette to create this look. First, I'm going in with a pink shade. I love this shade as a transition shade and I'm going to start blending from the outer corner of my lid, going to the front, kind of contouring the nose. So I'm just blending back and forth, back and forth, just blending that in. And now I'm getting the orange shade from the palette and I'm just going to blend that in as well, just for depth. And then once that's done, I'm going to go in with my concealer. So I'm just going to look straight in the mirror and then kind of demarcate where I want the shimmer to go. Drawing a thin line and then I'm dragging that out because you kind of want your eyes to be lifted like that. Now I'm just going to really clean that up and then shade underneath. So I'm not going to use this maroon shade. I just want to really emphasize that cut crease. So I'm using a precise eyeshadow blending brush from the Mona Tools collection. Now I'm just blending that. So I'm now going to get a shimmery shade from the Urban Decay Stone Fox palette. Love it. Getting my nice concealer brush, spraying it a bit. I put this champagne peachy shimmery gold and I'm just going to go over my lid starting with the inner corner because I couldn't get there with my fingers and I'm just taking that highlight all over and then really using it to demarcate that cut crease like that that looks nice and clean so now I'm going to do the liner at the bottom and to do that, I'm going to get another precise eyeshadow blending brush, the black shade in my palette, and I'm going to just dab that all over my lid. I am using a precise brush to do that as well. Dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. So I'm just trying to like demarcate where my eyeliner is going to go. That will help me not make any mistakes, not make it too big or too thin. Just know where it's supposed to pass. And then I'm going to also use the same brush to demarcate where the eyeliner should pass. So we're going to go in with this fat eyeliner pencil just to tighten. So for the eyeliner, I'm going to be using this Revolution double-sided liner. It has the side that has like a fat applicator and then a thin one. So I'm going to start with a thin end and I'm just going to use this to really demarcate where, my, where I want my eyeliner to pass and to really just clean it up so that I know, like that. And once I reach the tip, I'm going to go where that ends from and I'm just going to follow it back like that. So I'm going to get my same black eyeshadow shade. I'm going to go over that liner like that. And I'm really just filling it in to create like a, sh like a fade of some sort. And then I'm using that to come to the front. I'm now going to start working on the lower part of the eyes. I'm going to go in with the maroon shade and I'm going to start creating depth underneath the eyes, blending that back and forth. That looks amazing. And then I'm going to fade that out with the pink and orange shades that I used in the crease. Just blending that again back and forth. I'm using the Revolution white eyeliner to 
line my waterline and kind of open up my eyes and make them pop and look bigger so guys right now i'm going to use this revolution i love revolution coconut mascara i really love it so much i think i love the one the most it's super thin and i love to start with my bottom lashes just going back and forth a little bit to create depth and then after that i'm going to go in with the top lashes Okay, now we're going to fill in our eyebrows. So I'm going to use this Morphe Brow Gel and I'm just going to brush that, to brush through my eyebrows just to keep them set. So guys, now I'm going to highlight my face and for that I'm going to be using the highlighting drops from L'Oreal. It's the Glow Moon More. I'm just going to just dab, 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 dab. You already know this process. And then I'm going to just dab that lightly. A little bit on the high points on my forehead. And then now we're going to go in with our Fresh Face Cheek and Lip Tint Blush. You've seen it before, I used it the last time. Dabbing that on the back of my mind. Dabbing, dabbing, dabbing super warm super blushy okay so we're just dabbing that blush on don't be afraid to use as much blush as possible take it onto the high temples right now it looks like a lot but i promise you it's going to come together don't be scared when you go in with so much and then now we're going to go in with a powder brush and we're just going to make sure that that's blended so to set my face i'm going to use the real techniques it says the glow finish blend extender it also says that it hydrates and brightens and i think that's true because i've used it on a couple of my clients and i loved how the makeup looked after so guys for lips i'm going to be using the dapper dapper by raj on instagram the Dapper Brown shade, I love this shade for lining nude lips and then I'll be topping it with a cashmere from Revolution and then I will be going over it with this plumping Revolution Pout Bomb Gloss. First we're going in with a Dapper by Ratch Brown Lip. So I'm done lining my lips, now I'm going to go in with the Cashmere Revolution Pro Satin Lipstick. It's like the perfect nude shade. And then I'm going to go in with a pout bomb. The shade is called Cookie. It also has a plumping effect, which I really love. And that was it, guys. I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Let us know what you would like to see from us next. We'll be having new YouTube tutorials, videos for you guys every Wednesday. We've partnered with Film Report to make sure that we give you guys consistent, great content. They're the best for video, and we're grateful for them. And that's why we're here today. But for now, know that it's at Manafaces on Instagram, at Manafaces on Snapchat and Facebook and TikTok. But thank you guys so much, we love you and see you next Wednesday, bye.